obviously, if your pots are new, you don't have to wash them. If they're old and used, give them a good scrub. A good brush and water. That's all you need. This is my worn out, broken, probably my favorite pot. I just love the shape. And I'll show you what I do with this one. So give it a quick clean. Get some of the out of here. Well, the sun is out and it's warm again. Lovely. Okay guys, there are many different types of pots. Trough, small bell shape, big bell shape, terracotta, and things like this. So decide what type of pot you want. Secondly, decide where you want your pot to go. Maybe you want it on a wall, or maybe you want it on the ground, on the floor. Now, let me show you. This one's quite tall. This one's about one, one and a half foot tall. If I put a trading plant in this, it will cascade down, lovely, and it will hide all these broken bits. This one goes on the floor. This guy I have on this wall, and I have trailing plants climbing down, and it looks really nice and lovely. One like this, putting on the wall would be risky. Very small base, put it here. Plant is about that tall. Wind, fall off. So bear that in mind. Another thing, with a pot like this, you don't want the plant to be anything one and a half times bigger than the actual pot size. So if the pot is that big, having the plant that's good, anything more than this is getting a bit too high. So likely the wind can make it drop and damage your plant. I usually have these on the ground. So if you want to go for a slightly taller plant, maybe put some rocks and things at the bottom to weigh it down. Two types of plants I buy mainly at this time of the year, annuals. Um, we have the upright plants, so they'll grow to about that tall and they go upwards and slightly bushy. And then we have the trailing plants. So this is trailing lobelia, petunia, petunia, and there's a trailing geranium as well. And with these guys, the plant will cascade down to about that, that far. So you get that effect. So most of these plants are left over from my hanging basket, and I'm just gonna go and pot them up and show you how to do that. A neat little trick, guys. Say you don't have a wall and you would like still the trailing lerm hanging over plants. You pot one with the trailing plant and with the other one you do that and you make a stand. Can you see that? So you'll do that. There you go. So that plant will cascade down and that is deep enough for the plant to hang down and not hit the ground. Good tip. Three trailing lobelias. So like I said before guys, this is one of my most favourite pots, it's well over 15 years old, but it's getting a bit old now, a little bit chipped here and there, so I thought I could throw it away, but as I know which plants I could do to cover it up, trading lobelia, and I've done it for the last few years and it works absolutely brilliant, uh, little grass, get away, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the, all three of them in there, cram them in. And later on in the summer, I'll show you how it cascades down to about there, and it just looks absolutely beautiful. All right, so I've got my compost mix. I've already partly filled it, fill it up a bit more, compress it down a little. And what you want to do is, with lobelia, trading lobelia, look at that nice root system, you want to make sure the top is slightly below because there will be roots coming from these little stems as well so you see that that's a bit too low 
and remember it's all this soil with water will sink down a bit more. press it down a bit see now that's a nice height there there we are now just going to fill up the little holes with a bit more soil lobelias are recognized as marathon runners of the summer guys why they just keep flowering until the first deep frost they will just keep going and they're not fussy they can tolerate wind a little bit of cold but just make sure they're hydrated Water, um, the soil doesn't dry out too much and then at the moment it looks like this there you are all right put that to one side with these two guys what I like to do is I'd like to have them on either side of my steps and on the wall so I try and make them symmetrical when you're doing something like this it's best to choose your plants first So what I've got here is trailing, trailing, trailing and in between the gaps I think I will have some upright plants. So. And these are upright marigolds all the way from Mexico, one in here and one in here. So I've got five plants and this is approximately two foot long trunk. So I'll just show you. Then that way, you see, you don't get confused where the plant's supposed to go. So I'll put this one down. Take these plants out and just line them up here. Now the fun part, planting. This new tea bag system, just give you a few breaks to help the roots escape. The roots come out okay, no problem, but this just helps a little bit more. Okay, so there we are. So that's a nice height. You want the that height to be just below the top of the pot you're potting in. See that this one is too small, so. I'm just going to give a bit of soil to lift it up there we are now he's at a nice height this one's okay this one's a bit small give a bit of soil to lift it up there we are that one's a bit shallow give it a bit of soil to lift it up there we are there we go, now ready to fill it all up. Now it's the middle of May here guys and I'm doing this. Some nights the temperature can drop to about 3-4 Celsius. You just want to be careful. If the temperature drops quite a lot like that, you want to protect these guys from the cold. So I'm going to put these in the greenhouse for a few days. And then slowly I'm going to get them climatized to the outside temperature. So I might put them into a cold frame. Or if you have a sheltered area with a little bit of cover. If you don't, use some horticultural fleece. First few days while they're out. Just to give them... Now after everything's potted up, always remember, good drink. Lots of water. To let everything settle I'm using quite a dry compost here so I'll make sure I give them a good drink keep an eye over the next few days if the soil drops down top it up with a bit more soil so I'm just giving a little bit of firm to anchor then just level out all the soil see where it's low and high okay
there's that one done you'll see the display this year now another thing guys I forgot to mention when you buy these things they usually they don't have holes you've got to drill the holes underneath you need drainage if they're soggy and water sitting in there the roots will rot now you see these little ones they're only about 15 16 centimeters across so about half a foot you could because they have quite a nice base put them on the wall or on the floor but what I'm going to do is I'm going to do two for the wall and I'm going to do two for the ground so I'm just going to do two plants on each one again the same as before choose your plants right so the marigold is yellow and the verbena is deep red so we've got yellow and gold there we are time to plant here when they grow, they will completely fill this spot up. There you are. With these two, I'm going to go for one trailing, one trailing, and one upright plant. And then I have a choice. I can put it like that, or I can put it on the wall if there's enough space. This time I'm going for two trailing geraniums. I'll go for two verbena as well. Okay. And that's how this one looks. So the geranium will cascade down, and this one would be the back left up. With these two, definitely going on the ground because of the small. With these two, I'm going to do three plants in a triangle. So we've got verbena mix. I've got a lot of these, so I'm just going to go for it. Hopefully I get a nice variety. I don't get two of the same color in the pot, but you never know. And that's how it looks. These guys are quite weighty, they could go on the wall or on the ground and um, I'm going to go for two. The, the pot's not very big and um, I don't like to crowd my plants. I'd rather have two healthy plants than lots of small struggling plants. And that's how it looks now. Time to give everything a quick drink. So do it nice and slowly, little, and let it sink. Don't try to give the whole whole can to one container in one go. So little by little. Here you go, mate. Have some. You have some. Thank you so much for watching guys, um, hopefully this will give you some helpful tips on how to get some nice lovely summer flower displays. Catch you soon, bye for now, much love and respect.